Are you tired of falling short of your New Year's resolution to get in shape? Let 2008 be the year you get the body you've always dreamed of. Merritt Athletic Clubs will guarantee you the results or they'll give you your money back. Call 1-800-NEW-SHAPE and ask about the results. Guarantee at Merritt. Thank you very much, Robert Altman. All right, back here at Radio Row, uh, live coverage of Super Bowl 42. Of course, the game doesn't start till Sunday, but everybody starts getting in the house on Monday. The writers have to have something to write about. <laughs> Len Pascarelli joins us from ESPN.com. Welcome in. Uh, you know, let me think. 19 and 0, uh, underdog team. You got so many things to write about. Which one? Which one? You got to get them all out of the way, right? At some point, you got to write the Tom Brady story first, or the Eli Manning story. Night, yeah. Oh, you wrote that already. Yeah. I got the Patriots this week. I've covered them ten of the uh, eighteen games they've played so far, and, and, and you hate to say it, but you're just running out of stuff to write about about that team when you when you cover them that much. I don't know how the reporters in, in Boston and from the New England area are doing it because you know they're not the most quotable team around. They kind of follow the cue of their leader, who doesn't say a whole heck of a lot. He, Probably was aghast last night at uh, Tom Brady's canned door about his, his ankle. But uh, it's a remarkable season. And, and, you know, what the Giants done is, is have done is pretty remarkable as well. You know, Len, I asked Clark Judge this question earlier. Uh, from your standpoint, thinking ahead to Sunday night at 9.30 or 10 o'clock, or even Monday when you've had a chance to sift through it all, what would be, from your standpoint, writing it? What would be a better story? The 19-0 story or the Giants winning 27-20 with 12 seconds to go on a throw from Manny to Burris? I think a lot of people would think the Giants upsetting, you know, stopping this, this pursuit of perfection would be a great story. Having covered... Patriots as, as often as I have, and, and, and knowing Bill Belichick pretty well, you know, I'm, uh, you can't pull for anybody. But I think to have come this far, I'm hard pressed to, to believe that team's going to lose now. And uh, I'm prepared to write that story too because I think that's it's a pretty compelling story as well. Lynn, with, with all the things going on, how frustrating is it to have to talk about Tom Brady and his ankle? And the whole, <laughs> I was reading your article, the whole hoopla that's yeah. been about the boot. Is he hurt? Is he not hurt? I, mean, I was standing there last night. I, made sure, I kind of knew where he'd be coming in, so I made sure I was right there. And you know, all those cameras. Take Did he have a limp, Lynn, or not? I didn't think he limped. <laughs> I didn't think he limped. And, and as I wrote in you know, my column, they, they were the most photographed pair of shoes since uh, that pair of Bruno Mollies that right, uh, OJ right, was okay. alleged to have worn. But, <laughs> right. uh, no, I didn't think he limped, and, and I thought he was very, fairly candid. You know, and again, I'm sure, you know, Belichick was having a conniption fit somewhere, but uh, you know, did anybody think this guy wasn't going to play? Well, 126 straight games. Right. I mean, short of amputation and maybe even counting amputation, this guy was going out on the field. Tape him up and get him in there, exactly. right? Yeah. Hey, a couple of things. I want to talk about Ravens here in a couple of minutes, but a couple of things for you as you look around, and maybe you haven't had time to focus on this, but it's, you know, I don't know how, I don't know what's going on in Washington and Oakland and how they can Nobody cover does. and how they can cover these two markets, these two teams. But what is going on in D.C. where, and obviously Gibbs quitting may or may not have been a shock to them, but this last three weeks with them of. This, Greg Williams was supposedly the, it was a fate of complete. Greg well, Williams was just going to be the coach, and we'll interview a minority candidate because we have to, but Greg Williams is going to be the coach. Now all of a sudden, not, not only is he not the coach, they fired him. Yeah.